Hi guys, welcome back to my Final Fantasy Burp XVS video. Now I'm gonna tell you which item that you probably want to get from this King Moog. Okay, so this is really special day. This is fourth anniversary of our beloved games Final Fantasy Breath XPS okay and yes maybe this time we don't have really big celebration because of the pandemic okay but it's perfectly understandable okay so let's just enjoy this fourth anniversary okay and now which items you need to get on this King Mo okay so I assume you don't have any items on this list okay so of course if you have items some items on this list you can ignore them okay but let's talk about them you can see the tier list on the screen okay but i will talk about each item starting from now okay the first item i crawl wrote this is simply bad item what do you need for blizzaga do you still even use magic on this game no so ignore this this alien dress is also kind of, I, I can say that it's not that good, only 24 attack, it is nice, but not something you want to spend, okay, because, yes, I think it's only, you can only get 10 tickets, so you can only get 10 items from this, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, so let's continue, the next is outdoor police medal, so this is one of the item which I can say it is quite worthy to get this, because this will give you all element resist plus 10 this also give you 20 defense spirit attack magic so it is good to be equipped either for your offensive or defensive character so yes this is really good item this is one of my recommendation okay i think this is s tier item as a tier item i mean on this shop okay other special op swords useless okay 64 attack really bad almost had bad and I want of darkness. This is quite interesting because this kind of equipment you can you will find this item friends later, okay? Like fire set or whatever. This is gonna give you decent amount of elemental resist, but only one element. That's why I don't think you should get these items because that means you need three items to complete the state. Okay, that means three tickets, so it's kind of wasted. Okay, angel one, angel wing, armor plate, these are rubbish. Okay, for this shield, you won't even use this shield. Trust me, guys, I have all of these items and I never use it. Okay, angel wing, basically, what you want to search for from the piece of equipment is elemental resist. And this ancient clock. This ancient clock is really nice, okay? Because you will get uh, 50. Let's see, let's see. Yes, 55% light resist. But again, like I said before, these kind of sets are not your priority because, yeah, you need three tickets to complete the set. Asterisk, this is special weapon for Aster. And like you know, Aster is not that good at this point of the game. Sure, it's, it is nice, but I don't think it's good, okay? So basically, all weapons, I can say, skip them all, okay? Beast Justice, Beast Hammer, uh, skip, skip, and this one, Bouquet of Roses. This is quite good. I think this belongs to A tier, okay? Because this will give you two LB gauge per turn. This is nice if you, let's say, you want to build Let's say Luna Freya to be able, actually that's a bad example because without LB regen, additional LB regen, Luna Freya already able to spam her LB every time she needed, okay? So basically if you need LB regen, this is good. So yes, if you want to build someone with high LB regen, that's good. And this Chocobo set, this Chocobo set, I think this is the best set on Actually, it is not set, okay? But if you buy all of these three, okay, Chocobo Armor, Chocobo Hood, and Chocobo Rings, this gonna increase your win resist by 100%. So, so far, this is the best 
Elementor is set available on this King Mook Shop. Okay, so really recommend it. This concealing cloth is also good on the past. Okay, you can do cheese trick using this one, but at this point, I don't think this has any use usage. Okay, so I can say skip them. Okay, next, next, next. Crimson coat. This cloth is very good. Why is it good? Because it increase your fire and ice resist by 30%. Yes, 30%. Okay, two elements. Really nice and it is also cloth. So you probably able to equip this on your physical attacker. Really nice. Crown of Justice. Bat. Crown of Covenant. Bat. Yes, bat. Skip, 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 skip. Let me see if I can find interesting. This Elegant April. This is for ice resist but again I don't think it's a good idea to buy those, but feel free if you want to buy it, okay? I basically I never use any offset for my character if I'm not if I remember correctly, but Zinzar use this kind of equipments. So yes, you may buy them, but I don't recommend it. This elven gloves is also another good accessory because it increased two elements. Wind and light resist, 30%. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. And for accessory too. And next, evoker's horn, that's kind of niche. Festival cap, no. The ice resist boost. Yes. This is, this is ice set equipment. Firefox cloak, flag shield. This actually quite good. Because it increases your water resist by 50%. But pay attention that this minus 50% fire resist. Okay? Floater or be this useless. Gaia Karina. Skip, skip. This shield, I must say, this is interesting, but you won't use it. Okay? Trust me. 5%. And this is the next candidate for ticket. Heavy Drake Armor. This Heavy Drake Armor is same like Aldor Police Medal. All element resist plus 10%. Very, very good Heavy Armor. But the thing that pissed me off is it seems that they never bring back King's Armor. King's Armor is better version of Heavy Drake Armor which increase your all element resist by 20%. So I hope it will come back again in the future. And this Ignacio Helm is also very good, 30% fire resist and 21 attack. So this is decent for your physical attacker when you need fire resist, okay? This Imperial Fun Blade, this is also good because it, innate, it has innate light element. But again, you can get Holy One, so this is not your priority, okay? This light imbu imbue may be useful for maybe future characters who rely on spirit like Xuan Wu and Qinglong. Okay, this is also good. This gives you nice decent spirit boost, but that's it. This is another recommendation, 30% ice resist. Grab it, okay. Nice. Jet Moon Pendant, this is nice item on the past, but right now, whoa. I don't think you need it, okay. Jet Black Eye Patch. 5% evasion, mm, maybe good if you need it, but yeah, I already have better evasion, evasion hat, okay, so I don't need it. And the, probably the most important items on this King Mog is this K Producer's Jacket. Why is it so why it is so important? Because it increases your provoke, something that is very hard to raise. Okay, yes, it's only 20%, but we have Mughal Poshi and it is Irish Trust Master Reward, which is gonna increase your provoke by 30%. So by equipping this and Mughal Poshi, you have 50% innate provoke. And most provoker or tanker have innate 50%. That means you already built them into 100% provoke tank. Okay, these two, I mean, those combinations are really useful if you miss Mughal Charm 
from Final Fantasy 15. But if you, let's say, if you already have Moogle Charm, I don't think you need this K Producer's jacket, okay? And if you don't like your armor slot to be equipped K Producer's jacket, there's another alternative, okay? You can equip, mm, let me show you on bottom because I can say there are, yeah, the items are not interesting anymore. You can equip, uh, well, yeah, this one, wrap gift and yellow balloon. Okay, so these two are also nice, but only wrap gift. Yellow balloon is kind of useless because it gives you 15% provoke. So even if you combine it with, uh, let's say, Moogle Plushi, you only reach 95% with 50% Provoke 10. Okay, so ignore this yellow balloon, but get this wrap gift. Okay, this is really nice, I must say, if you miss Moogle Charm. So I think that's all you need to know, guys, about this King Moog items. You can see the recommendation on the screen. Now, before ending this video, of course, some of you asked me that should you summon on the uh, on the 10,000 pools or rainbows? Of course, I can say that the answer is yes. Okay, I know that you may say it's new vision era soon, but still it is all rainbows and the best part is we get 100% STMR. Okay, so yes, like you know that Neo Vision need you to have seven stars character with full STMR. So basically, this is like prism to Neo Vision in the future. You can save this STMR Moogle for the future. So that's why I totally suggest you to pull this, okay? And this is what I'm gonna do. So let's begin 10,000 Lapis. We all get lucky on this fourth anniversary. Really guys, thank you very much for all your support, okay? I've been making video for FFB since the beginning of the game. So that means I also have made, hey, I have made videos for four years. And yes, what a pain. I get pain on the first pull. Crap. Akstar. No! Oh! At least I get some descent. A new character too. Sweet Luca, but she's not so sweet for me. Mastermind son. Whoa, old, old. I it. Why she keeps coming to me? Okay? So uh, I can say that this is really bad pull for me, okay? I, yes, this is really bad pull for me. I don't need Irid, etc. Okay, but it's okay. It's for your anniversary. So, yes, I have said that only pull for the 100% STMR Moogle, so I'm not salty or anything. And yes, of course, before the last time, let's do this pull. The first next era ticket summon. So, I have played since the First day, that's why I get 40 cats, okay? So let's see. This is 10 pulls, if I'm not mistaken, okay? But it is not guaranteed rainbow. So let's see what I'm gonna get, okay? Am I gonna get mm, good rainbow or whatever? Oh, no. I Yes, I can say that this reward I can, are kinda lame because it is not even one guaranteed rainbow but yes they say they will defy the reward so in the future we probably get better okay so it is just the beginning so please don't complain okay hmm but of course i still hope for rainbow maybe yeah give me another no okay i have no so if I get second no, it will be very nice to make him into seven stars. But crap, this is just dirtying my inventory. Okay, I will need to clear it. And remember guys, we are near at the end of the month. So make sure you clear the world quest. Okay, I have made lots of mistakes. Actually, I didn't clear three world quests. I thought they were last forever. 
So that means I kind of lost 30,000 lapis, right? But yes, that's my lesson. That's, that means tomorrow I'm going to clear all the missions for the world quest. Mm, come on, oh, not any rainbows, please. Have mercy, Gumi. I have created four years FFB video and this, you don't give me any rainbow. Oh, I can say very, very bad rewards, guys. But it's okay, guys. Let's hope we will get better reward next time. Okay? So, yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave XPS video. Let's hope this game will get better, okay? Reach 5th anniversary or even more. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.